is the last time I go on a mystery cruise. We're going to be all right. The bar's open. <laughs> How did that get here? That's the mystery. Stones, the only bit of the be marooned with. Is that a ship? Yeah. yeah. Wherever you may wonder, there's no taste like stones. Now prices take a pounding in Allied's Price Breaker Sale. We've smashed the price barrier to save you up to 60% on hundreds of big name carpets. Save two pounds on velvets at 3.99. Save three pounds on wool blend burbers and twist piles at 5.99. Save four pounds on 80-20 twists at 7.99. Save six pounds on quality Axminsters at 10.99. And save with free fitting on all carpets 6.75 and over. Save more than ever before at the Allied Sale, starting Boxing Day at Superstores, Friday at all other stores. Tonight brings a special invitation to Freshfields. Oh, Hester, it all looks beautiful. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes. It's just like the grotto at Selfridges. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Oh, delirious. <laughs> oh, I know. You never grow out of Christmas. I'm sure I'll still feel the same when I'm an old lady. A Freshfields special tonight at 6.45 on ITV. And till then, here on Yorkshire, Coronation Street. Four of us, isn't there? Yes. Well, you're giving me too many knives and forks. No, give everybody two of each. Oh, I see. So we're having two dinners, are we? And you've got a spare knife in case the other one goes blunt. <laughs> no, a knife and fork for the first course and a knife and fork for the main course. Put the small ones on the outside. Oh, yeah, I knew that all the time. I was just testing you. What's for the uh, first course? I've worked out it isn't soup. It's ham with melon. Come again. It's a kind of Italian ham. It's cured in a different way, and I hope you like it because it's very dear. That's all right. I thought I was going daft for a minute. I thought it said ham and melon. Yes, that's right. Well, where did you get that one from? Oh, I don't know. It's a, it's a thing, you see. Every so often I get a desperate urge to try something different for once. Yeah, but melons is for afters. You can't have ham and melon. Someone's pulling your leg. You'll find it very nice. Well, you might convince me, but I don't think you'll convince Percy. I mean, I'm young and adaptable and, and well daft, but Percy's set in his way. He'll probably get up and go. <laughs> does he know that Phyllis is coming? Well... He doesn't, does he? Oh, great. Well, I gave him a time half an hour earlier than her, so with a bit of luck and a couple of glasses of sherry, he might be in a sort of mellow frame of mind. With a bit of luck, he'll get the hump and he'll go home. That's not the Christmas spirit. on high, in heaven the bells are... Oh, hiya, Kate. What are you doing in here, are you going to your Brian's? Yeah, I'm going for my dinner, aren't I? Oh, I'm glad, Kate. I thought they disowned you somewhere. Well, I said that, didn't I? I said, if you're on your own, you're very welcome to come and get outside some of our turkey. I said, you'd be welcome. You did, Jack, you did. Yeah, Ben, how is he, Abby? That's very nice. Listen, I don't have to be half cut to... Give us some sort of hospitality, you know. Listen, if you want half cut more, sit down, folk might pick you up on it more. You never miss a dig, do you? Even in the trenches, <laughs> they have a two at Christmas. Not <laughs> oh, a right, hour out, so. Well, seeing as it's Christmas, I'll let you buy me a drink. <laughs> if you don't think too shy to go in your pocket, I will. <laughs> Wait a minute, Gloria, look. Right, no, I thought if it were me, you know, I'd rather do things myself, wouldn't you, woman? I mean, because you're doing faster, don't you? <laughs> I mean, and there's people saying, can I help you? Can I give you a hand? Well, you could have them done, couldn't you? But you can't say, can you? And on the other hand, I thought, well, I'll not be able to sit there and see her struggling, so I thought it best if I... Yeah, you yeah, know, did right, yeah. Kev, Jack. And a pale, a pale ale for the missus. Hey, and, uh... what do you mean, pale ale? It's Christmas, have you heard him? I'll have a sherry, a large one, and don't forget either. Oh, not for me, love, I've got to sign for one. After all you've said to him in here, you are trying to get me letters for her. I'm going visiting. <laughs> Sam, 
I am sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. What have I done? Chuck, if you were to go down the cellar steps with a face like that on, you'd turn the ale. I can't risk it. Come on, it's Christmas. And what's Christmas without a Christmas pudding, eh? Have you still not found that pudding? No, I have not. Well, all right. But you can't let it ruin everything else for you. It grieved him, it did. It grieved him, that sog done. And now, see, the cup has been dashed from my lips. Or in this case, pudding. I was wrong. What about? I think you do enjoy being miserable. Well, all right, Sam. I hope that you have a rotten, miserable Christmas. And all the best to you. And here's wishing you all you wish yourself. Turkey's done. Slippy neck, it should be time it took. It's been in and out of that oven more times, but you can't be so careful with frozen. <laughs> yeah, it's getting on you now, though, isn't it, Turkey? I mean, at one time it used to be a big thing, but now it's... Yeah, well, I don't know about you, kid, but we didn't have it every day in our house, did we? Well, I'm not saying that, Vera. It's just, it's... They're advertising it, aren't they, more for every day, well, it's like... going the same way as chicken, isn't it? I mean, you remember, and chicken... Ah, well, Jack, now you're talking chicken. I mean, chicken what chicken, but wasn't it? you never see it, tell it, did you? Yeah, but it was a big thing in them days. I mean, then chicken with chicken and turkey with... Oh, turkey. Oh, turkey, now that was something else. Yeah, but I mean, today, I mean, chicken... Chicken. That's what I was saying, Jack. I mean, turkey's going the same way, isn't it? I mean, now, turkey is just turkey. It's that blooming booty full of lunatic from nothing. Yeah, yeah. That, that, there's only one thing that tells you it's Christmas now, isn't there? What's that? Your bonus that you get in your packet. Oh, hey, <laughs> kid, that were a bitter all that, yeah. wasn't it? hundred quid! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to tell him how much. hundred, Nick? Oh, well, get him in. I will believe it's well, Christmas. Well, that's it now. Is it the lost chord you're looking for? No, I'm looking for my Christmas pudding. In the piano? Yeah, I reckon it was that Sugden. He couldn't swallow the thought of it, me having his precious pudding. <laughs> Catering core. Well, I don't think anyone had hide it in a piano. There's no telling what they'll do. Uh, ah. Good girl, I've just come in to fetch those. Well, I've got them. And I'll tell you something else now, and not just because it's Christmas. But it's very much appreciated around here. Don't think it isn't. I mean, the way you do your job. Well, thanks. Well, right, that's the only way it's due. And what are you doing with old Sam in here, anyway? <laughs> Getting you under the mistletoe? Was he, Eck? <laughs> well, if he wasn't, I will. What are you hanging around here for? Go on. They're busy in there. Oh, oh, I can just get my penny off and have a quiet sherry. That would be very nice. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's that unearthly calm and before the, uh, what's it in it? Before the clash and tumult of battle, you mean? I do hope not. Hmm. <laughs> It's nice, though, this sherry. Is it strong? It tastes it. I think it is quite. They put brandy in it, don't they? It's called fortified. Oh, well, that's definitely what we need, fortifying. Oh, I do wish you wouldn't. I've been slaving in there and we're going to have a nice dinner. I'll get it. I bet he's brought his ukulele. Oh, well, well, I'm How much were the planets, Phyllis? Oh, Phyllis. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I've come a bit early. I thought I might be able to give you a hand. Well, there's plenty to do, isn't there? I brought you a little present. Oh, you shouldn't. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um... There's only bath salts and a bit of talcum powder. Well, you should have played to last year. That's what I got her. Oh, oh no, very well, nice. Thank you. To be honest, I think I've just about got enough. Uh, Sissy brought me some, that's her next door. Oh, yes. Then uh, Gail gave me some, and two yes. customers out at cafe. Yes. Very nice of them. Yes. They come in regular, they're from transport. And I always look after them, right, to give them a few extra beans, you know. Yes. Well, uh, here's some more to add to the collection. Oh, <laughs> and here's me. Ta very much. You can't have enough of a good thing, can you? You promised me absolutely faithfully that you don't play Monopoly. <laughs> I make my living buying and selling. 
It's not my idea of relaxation. It goes on forever. And it's all been carefully put away so we can carry on after dinner. I mean, I like Tracy very much, but... Oh. Well, it's Christmas, isn't it? There you are in the bosom of your family. You should think yourself lucky. I suppose so. What are you doing for your Christmas dinner? Me? I'm going to a hotel in town, uh, the Cavendish. Do you know it? Mm. It's very pricey, isn't it? Well, it's all right for people like us that got nowhere to go. Oh. And they do the washing up. And I bet they don't play Monopoly either. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what. If things get too rough, why don't you uh, pop round for a brandy? I was going to suggest that. Well, it's a good idea, but... Uh, I don't think it'll go down too well with the family. Why not? Well, it's, it's Christmas, isn't it? I should expect they'll be glad to see the back of me for an hour or two. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, if you turn up and I won't expect you to, well, that would really be very nice. He has, he's brought it. Merry Christmas. Mr. Sutton, Merry Christmas. Yes, sir. We were just discussing whether you'd bring your ukulele. Oh, I wouldn't let you down on that one. You know what they say, don't they? There's many good tunes played on an old ukulele. I'll just tune it up, let you get used to the room. You know, they don't like being shifted. It's the temperature, you know. No, I don't, don't, please. Uh, oh, there's four of us. Are we expecting another? Uh, yes. I'm just making the gravy. And you're quite right. There's many a good tune played on an old ukulele. Uh, well, that's knackered this one. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Prices in every range of Hygiena kitchens. Units from $17.99. Hygiena and systematic bedrooms at incredibly low prices. Two-door wardrobe, $39.99. Three-drawer chest, $14.99. Three-piece suites from under £200. Tables, $29.99. Chairs, $9.99. It's MFI's biggest sale of the year. Starts Boxing Day, 10 a.m. You have been a look at me all from, Dolly. Oh, they're lovely photos, eh? Do you know you haven't changed a bit? Twenty-five years. And it only seems like yesterday. Oh, no, and a big thank you to me mother-in-law for laying on our tea. Tea, tea? What I want's me PG. Did he get it? Not half me mum gave him an earful. There's no other tea to beat PG. It's the taste. We are smashing the price barrier as prices crash by up to 60% in Allied's Price Breaker sale. Starts Boxing Day at Superstores, Friday all other stores. It's the Wade sale. It's got super savings. It's got style. It starts Boxing Day.